I wanted to talk about Henry Mondu a little bit about what he is as a player and how he's improved this year. Uh, he's a student of the game. We talk about guys that truly take uh, the time out to uh, self scout and, 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 and uh, learn from their mistakes. He's one of those guys and leadership. You know, you can't fabricate that, and he's one of those guys that uh, helps us out in our room. Washington has a pretty good offensive line. What do you see when you, when you see them on tape? Yeah, they're a very, very fluid and uh, well-coached uh, outfit. And so uh, we got to work a cutout, and uh, it's been like that for the last few weeks. And so a uh, great opportunity for our guys and a great challenge. And uh, our guys got to see it that way, and uh, they're looking forward to it. Jake Browning's one of the better quarterbacks in this country when under pressure. Have you seen that in, in the film as well? Well, he's poised and uh, uh, has composure. Uh, he has a good handle of the uh, offense, and that's what you need from uh, from a good uh, quarterback. Washington's been playing well from year year to year for a while now, but what is different about them last year when you're looking at their tape versus now when you're looking at their tape? I don't know if there's any uh, difference. I think they're more seasoned. Uh, you know, again, uh, Coach uh, Peterson does a heck of a job of uh, putting on their players, and uh, you know those are the things that we're, we're we're striving to be as a program, and uh, this is a great opportunity for us. This late in the season, what could you say about the value of having an extra guy back, like a Jonah Moy? After several guys have played snap after snap entire games, they've got to be gassed, especially this late in the season. I think we're, 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 we're right where we need to be. Everybody's staying healthy now, making a push uh, November. It's the month of November, and uh, you'll be remembered in, in November. So uh, it's great to, to have the bodies back. And so uh, good good uh, work, work day today for us, and uh, sure, we're, we're excited. Joe, do you get a sense from the defensive players that were on the team last year that they're really motivated to tone for what happened against Washington? You know, those things happen when, when you're not prepared, and, uh, you know, that, that that's in the past. Uh, it's not going to dictate what we're going to be doing this week, but they also know the challenge and the, and the uh, responsibility of understanding exactly uh, uh, what we need to, from them as far as executing our game plan, but execute it with, with a consistency. And those are the things that we're, we're going to look forward to uh, this weekend. You came from a place where this Washington game was always circled on the calendar and now come to another place where it's it's usually circled as well. Do you get that sense around this place that it's a similar? Yeah, it's almost like the uh, Northwest uh, uh, Bermuda Triangle, you know, and that's, uh, you know, unfortunately for us in the other place, uh, you know, we always feel like we're, we're playing catch up. Uh, our offense, our defense is never on the field when, when things are, 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 are going on. So, uh, you know, this, this year and moving forward, we've got a clean slate and uh, we're excited to, uh, again, uh, put our guys in a position to win, and uh, that's just what we got to be, be doing and uh, looking forward to as a staff. Jordan and Austin playing a lot at that D-tackle position, rotating in as freshmen. How much have they progressed? I mean, what's the next step for those two guys in their development? Monumental. Guys, man, we, you can't uh, undervalue the uh, game game reps, and uh, those guys are gaining experience each week, and those are the things that are going to pay dividends. Uh, it's already, uh, right now, they're, they're in the middle of everything that we're doing, and so uh, kudos to them. You know, those guys, they, they, they fight, they battle, but they're also young, you know, and uh, they also understand that uh, in order for them to grow, they got to continue to, to, to find ways to improve, and uh, I, I just got to continue to coach and demand more uh, of them and, and help them in that regard. To do what your line is doing, the progress you made, and really not have a whole lot of contribution from Scott, not his fault because of injuries, how impressed are you with what you guys are able to pull off? You know, you're recruiting guys that love the game, and that's why you do that, because at some point there are going to be things dealt to you that you didn't plan on. And, uh, you know, again, you know, Scott's going to you know, try to contribute in, in other ways. But, you know, for, for the young guys uh, and for the guys right now as a whole, Jalen and, and those guys, it's a good mixture of, of, of old and, and young. Uh, the big thing that we talked about is Levitt and the defensive staff is we got to find guys that are tough and they love the game. You, you love the game when things are going well. When things are not going so well, you know, you at least a lot of the times guys just step back. These guys hadn't wavered one bit. And so those are things we're excited about as we uh, progress into the latter part of this season uh, just to really maximize our opportunity and put these guys in a position where they compete. But when you compete with passion and heart, we we'll, we'll want to turn this thing right on, right around. So during that three-game losing streak, that was the first time a lot of your freshmen had experienced that kind of you know setback in their college career. How, how did Austin and Jordan handle that? You know, everybody uh, inter internalized it differently, and uh, those guys are coming from uh, uh, great high school programs, you know, modern day and uh, and whatnot. So uh, you know, the experiences of, of the growing pains, we, we thrown, those are the things that we. Uh, talked about moving into the season that uh, it's going to hit us. Uh, we just got to stay the course and, and continue to put our guys in a position uh, to where they can continue to, to compete. And again, uh, at some point, 
those guys got to reflect the passion for the game because not everything is going to be lined up to uh, to our liking. But you know, to, to for them at this point of the season, and we're talking about these guys continue the the, the arrows continue to grow and and, and point upwards. We 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 want to want to make sure that we uh, we uh, recognize those things, but also they're the guys that are they're most critical uh, of themselves. And that's that's where we're uh, we're, we're, we're gaining ground in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys.